This is the all new Manjaro 23 codenamed Uranos. The newest version of Manjaro Linux is now out and it comes absolutely loaded. New features, new versions of desktop and a new engine under the hood. Yeah, Manjaro 23 is feature packed to say the least. This version of Manjaro will be the first distro to give us a taste of GNOME 44. Manjaro is a widely popular Linux distro which has its own separate fan base. It's an arch based rolling release Linux distro that comes with a pinch of special Manjaro things. It provides a very unique computing experience that gets Manjaro a place among the Linux giants. And this new version is just going to make everything even better. So in the second episode of Distro Focus, our ongoing series showcasing some of the greatest and some of the underrated Linux distros, we are going on a deep dive with Manjaro 23. We'll see what's new here and we'll have a look at the new user interfaces, the stability, the performance, the software scene and a lot more. This is Linux Text and we are going deep with the all new Manjaro 23. Having a good knowledge of Linux commands and being comfortable using the terminal really broadens what you can do with Linux and what kind of experience you are going to get here. So if you are interested in leveling up your Linux game, definitely check out my course Linux Mastery Express which is the fastest way to learn Linux and start using Linux like a pro. I'll teach you a set of commands that will give you the confidence to use Linux without even a graphical user interface. Then we'll dive deep and learn how to use the V editor and master shell scripting with real life examples. After teaching more than 100 students in person, I've curated this course with the top things that will level up your Linux skills the fastest. So if you're feeling like your Linux game is stuck in the same spot for too long and you're ready to take your Linux skills to the next level quickly, check out the link in the description below and get your Linux Mastery Express. We are running a massive 45% discount right now, so make use of it. Alright, starting off with the user interface, Manjaro provides pretty much all the desktop options. That's one thing special about Manjaro. We get GNOME, KD Plasma, XFC, Cinnamon, Budgie, i3, Sway and few other options are available. Jumping in with the GNOME version, Manjaro gives us a slightly retouched GNOME and it looks stunning out of the box. On top of the stock GNOME, Manjaro gives us a bottom dock. GNOME on Manjaro also comes with Manjaro branding colors here which make the system look very cool. This is a nice pin away from stock GNOME's blue accent. We are getting the latest GNOME that is GNOME 44 here. GNOME 44 is an improvement on the new GNOME 40 series desktops and has reached a place of polished premiumness. GNOME 44 looks very good. The dock, the status menu, the app grid, everything look exceptionally good here. I mean just look at the status menu here, the colors look so good. The default wallpaper choice is very good too. GNOME 40 series is proper eye candy, it impresses at first look. Manjaro 23 jams on top of that to create its own flair. Manjaro also gives us amazing customization options with GNOME. There's a layout switcher that gives us 4 fantastic layout options. Firstly, there's the Manjaro layout that we are looking at. Then there's a traditional layout that transforms this desktop to a Windows 7 style desktop with a sleek menu here. I really like this desktop option. Many people feel comfortable using this style desktop and it's very non-intrusive when you are trying to get some work done. So I loved this option here. Then there's a tiling layout. This option is very neat. Many Linux users do prefer to use tiling managers so this is very convenient here. With this, you can open multiple applications and they all tile up perfectly. This tiling is great when you want to work with multiple applications at the same time. This tiling system is also very simple to use. You can group applications using multiple workspaces and the open applications can be retiled by dragging them and gently dropping them into various buckets. There are horizontal as well as vertical options here. And you can also adjust the border between applications to resize the tiles. This is a full feature tiling mechanism with very simple controls. I love this option here. Then there's the stock GNOME option. Apart from these, you can use the GNOME tweaks applications to make further customizations to this desktop. Then there's an application here called Gradients which lets you change the colors of the theme itself. You can change this teal color and pretty much all the colors of the desktop but I'd be very careful with that because it's very easy to mess up the colors here. Moving on, the applications to look very good here. The dark theme is enabled by default, you can turn it off by clicking in the status menu and you get a light mode. All in all, GNOME plus Manjaro is a superb combo. Everything looks good, it feels great to use the system and GNOME is my personal choice to use with Manjaro. KDE Plasma, we are getting the 5.27 version here which is the final release of the KDE Plasma 5 series and it looks absolutely gorgeous here. This wallpaper, the dark bottom panel, the slight green teal accents here and there, this is a super polished desktop. KDE Plasma here comes with the usual menu, application switcher and the tray and icons here on the right side. Instead of Plasma's default breeze theme, 
Manjaro uses a custom theme called Breath and I love this. Just look how good the applications look in this color scheme. Manjaro people know how to play with colors and how to make something look expensive. Very expensive. KD Plasma brings many new things to Manjaro. The icons here on the right side now give out more information about how to interact with them. For example, if you hover on the sound icon, you can see that you can mute all sounds by middle clicking on this icon. Now you could always do that, but nobody knew about it because this information was not explicitly provided. Plasma 5.2 Sun also brings a completely revamped tiling mechanism. In fact, this is rewritten from scratch and it's pretty amazing. You can create custom tiling layouts by pressing the super button plus T here. Now this is fully customizable. Split horizontally, split vertically, adjust the size, anything you want is possible here. Then you can drag and drop applications into these tiles by dragging them while holding down shift and dropping them here. I've used many tiling desktops and this is one of my absolute favorites. It's simple to use, it's customizable and above all, it's hybrid. I mean, you don't have to tile all the open apps. You can use applications with tiling as well as without it. Only the applications that you drag and drop while holding down shift are tied. Others are just floating there. This gives you amazing flexibility in how you work on your computer. So definitely check out this tiling on the new Plasma. Apart from that, the applications look good. Plasma is very responsive and the whole thing is very enjoyable. Plasma has a great workflow for everybody and this is one of the best desktop options we have available today. It's good to see Plasma being combined with Manjaro in such a cool way. Alright, moving on to XFC. XFC had always been the main desktop environment of Manjaro before other desktops became officially officially available. So XFC has a very mature relationship with Manjaro and looks great here. The XFC edition has very prominent Manjaro branding and this really elevates how the whole thing looks. When you compare stock XFC to Manjaro XFC, the differences are striking and all are for the better. I mean the default background looks better, this panel looks better, the application menu looks amazing, the application theme, everything feels like an upgrade over stock XFC. Manjaro is one of the few distros that make XFC look good out of the box. Manjaro XFC is super lightweight and has an added bonus of being ridiculously more responsive than GNOME or KD Plasma edition. This time we are getting an improved control center that consolidates all settings in one place. Apart from these three desktop options, Manjaro provides many more. There's Linux Mint Cinnamon Desktop, there's Deepin, i3, Sway and few more desktops here that ensure no matter what your UI preferences are, Manjaro is available in a packaging that you resonate with the most. And Manjaro is one of the few Linux distros that let you install multiple desktop environments on the same installation and use them. Doing this on many other distros can be a headache, but on Manjaro, it's very simple. So in the user interface department, Manjaro scores top points for its impressive desktop environment support. Manjaro Linux is loaded with the newest and best tech. All the components here are well optimized for a wide range of hardware and to get a boosted performance on all computers. But if you are really after all the performance you can get, Manjaro XFC is a great choice. For the longest time, Manjaro XFC had been their main edition and even now too, it's a fantastic choice. It's simple, easy to use and has massive performance gains over Manjaro GNOME and KDE Plasma version. Because of a lightweight desktop, Manjaro XFC runs very efficiently, utilizing minimal system resources. This keeps more resources free for user applications. You can feel a fluid smooth responsiveness here. Applications open up faster, switching between them is instantaneous, and overall, there is a performance advantage here when compared to either GNOME or KDE Plasma. A smaller resource footprint also means that Manjaro XFC can run smoothly on a wide range of hardware. Even old and low-powered computers can handle Manjaro XFC with ease. That is one of the biggest use cases of XFC distros, to be able to provide meaningful computing on older devices. With Manjaro XFC, you can get a cutting edge ahead of the curve computing experience on even a decade old or older computer. Since Manjaro is a cutting edge distro and has the latest and greatest of all the software, Manjaro is one of the best operating systems for old devices. There are other XFC distros that are great for old computers, but nothing provides a cutting edge experience like Manjaro does. This piece of software breathes a new life into old devices. It revives them and makes them youthful again. Manjaro GNOME and Plasma version 2 are great performers. Both come with the latest, well-optimized kernel. The system itself is very lean and day-to-day -day usage is butter smooth on both. Overall, in the performance section, Manjaro is all praises. And if you are specifically after that extra oomph, Manjaro XFC is the top choice. Software availability, the software choice and the general ease of getting software is something that's absolutely phenomenal with Manjaro. 
Manjaro is an Arch Linux based distro but has a different approach to software delivery. Manjaro is a cutting edge distro but gives its users fresh and stable packages. Just being new always is not the priority here. Being new always while still delivering dependable packages is the priority here. Arch Linux rolls out the newest of everything to its users before anybody else. So Arch users live on the bleeding edge. Now when these updates are pushed, Manjaro developers watch these updates for issues. It can be integration problems, new bugs, other problems. These are watched for and after stability is confirmed, only then are they pushed to Manjaro users. This ensures that while you are still getting the latest of everything, there is an element of enhanced reliability. This one added layer of testing has been a huge strength of Manjaro and you are getting the best of both worlds, stability and fresh packages. Then, Manjaro has huge software repositories. Any software you want can be found here easily. Multimedia packages, development tools, games, system utilities, browsers, you name it. All the major software packages are available here in well-tested and new versions. Then, the biggest advantage of an Arch-based distro is access to Arch user repositories or the AUR. Now, AUR is the largest collection of Linux software. Any software ever created for Linux will be available here in its newest version. Literally everything is available here, so that covers everything. This AUR is integrated into Manjaro Software Center, so the application availability goes through the roof. Another cool thing here is Manjaro uses the Pamac store instead of GNOME Software Store. Now I don't have anything against GNOME Software Store, but Pamac is faster and just better. All the applications are very nicely organized here in categories and you can find anything you want by browsing here. There's also a fast application search here. This search also gets software from AUR if enabled in the preferences. That way, any software you want can be very conveniently installed from this software store without you ever having to search for anything outside it. And under the hood, everything is managed by the amazing Pac-Man Package Manager. Pac-Man is one of the best package managers out there. It's great in managing dependencies and stuff and creates and maintains a very harmonious system. And on Manjaro, you never have to deal with snaps or flatpacks. Flatpacks are available if you want, but you aren't forced to use those. Really, on Manjaro, the software availability is best in class. You'll really enjoy the ease of getting software here. Manjaro is a very interesting Linux distro when stability is concerned. Manjaro is an Arch-based rolling release distro. Now Arch is a cutting edge distro that pushes newest versions of everything to its users as soon as they're out. Arch users receive update on a daily basis and Arch systems are fresh all the time. Manjaro heavily borrows from this system but makes some crucial changes to the whole fiasco. As we just saw, Manjaro uses Arch Linux updates as testing grounds and adds its own layer of testing to these packages. Once the packages pass the tests, only then does Manjaro approve those packages for updates to its users. Manjaro uses its own independent software repositories to do this. This added step makes Manjaro a fantastic combination of cutting edge and stability oriented distro. Manjaro maintains a great balance of offering fresh packages without compromising on the stability. This one thing has been working great for Manjaro. It's this update mechanism that has created a strong user base for Manjaro. Manjaro is great for students, software professionals, gaming, home usage and pretty much everywhere else. Manjaro 23 comes with the latest Linux kernel version 6.5. This brings noticeably enhanced performance on many AMD computers. The read-write speeds for Linux file systems have also been enhanced and generally, this new kernel brings vastly improved support for new processors. So Manjaro 23 will run fine on even newly released hardware. But if you want, during installation, you can choose to use Linux 6.1 or even Linux 5.15, both of which are long-term support versions of Linux kernel and vastly more stable than the latest version. And talking about the usability, Manjaro comes with all the desktop environment options, so whatever your user interface preferences are, Manjaro has got you covered. Manjaro makes computing simpler. Installing software is simple here, changing the settings, getting drivers, everything is made as simple as it can get here. This simplicity on a cutting edge rolling release distro becomes extremely valuable. This is what sets Manjaro apart from other top Linux distributions. Manjaro is based on Arch Linux. Steam OS is another operating system that's based on Arch Linux. So we can say that Manjaro is similar to Steam OS and that brings about huge benefits when you talk about gaming on Linux. Linux gaming was revolutionized 5 years ago by Steam's Proton feature. Steam enabled thousands of Windows exclusive titles to be played on Linux directly from Steam. That too without any wine or play on Linux hassle. Steam handled everything for you. And this works surprisingly well, you know. I play many games like this and they run so smooth. You might mistake them for Linux native games. 
titles like Witcher 3, GTA 5, Cyberpunk 2077, and many more install and run like they are Linux native. One click installation and hassle free running. And the performance too is very good. You might expect, since you are running Windows games on Linux, the performance to be not optimal. But that's not the case at all. Since Proton is not virtualization but rather a compatibility layer, the performance here is near native and at times better than native. Steam and Steam Play are absolutely essential for anybody looking to get some gaming done on Linux. Then, you can also download games from Banjaro repositories as well as the AUR. Combined, you'll get thousands of Linux games here which can be hours of fun. All in all, gaming on Manjaro is very easy and simple to get started with. And Manjaro comes with all the GPU drivers pre-installed. Nvidia, AMD and Intel integrated are pre-installed on Manjaro so you can expect top grade gaming performance here. Manjaro is a popular Linux distro and has a very large user base. Using a popular Linux distro pays off hugely because of the community support. Manjaro has extensive community written help material online. How to articles, troubleshooting guides and general know-how is very easy to find for Manjaro. And ArchWiki, which is Arch Linux Encyclopedia, is vastly applicable to Manjaro because of the similar lineage. Even hardware specific issues which can be hard to replicate are easily solved on the forums and this can be very helpful. And if you face any issues that are not already solved, community members prove to be very helpful. The amazing community members make Manjaro enjoyable for everybody and this community shows the power of community driven software. Top points here. Manjaro has a very simple and straightforward installation procedure. Existing Manjaro users can upgrade to the latest Manjaro 23 using the sudo pacman-asyu command. New users need to fetch the installer file from the official website. Download the ISO with the desktop option that you want. Flash it onto a USB stick and live boot into it. Then you can install the system. All the options here like the install locationing, partitioning, they are all represented in very beginner friendly ways and even Linux newcomers can get around very easily here. AMD and Intel integrated drivers are pre-installed and if you have Nvidia hardware, you need to select boot with proprietary driver option during live boot. Getting started with Manjaro is a simple affair and the whole thing takes around 20-25 minutes based on your internet speed. There are Linux distros of various qualities. Manjaro is one of the top tier ones. Manjaro is a full community driven project. It's a cutting edge system with strong emphasis on stability. A reliable and dependable experience is top priority here, all while giving the users an exciting system. And when you talk about features, Manjaro has got everything. A choice selection of carefully crafted user interfaces, phenomenal software availability and an user experience that's just top grade. These things make Manjaro a compelling operating system. One thing that Manjaro does great is hitting that sweet balance between being user friendly and powerful. Many top operating systems like Ubuntu and even macOS put fences to protect the user from breaking things which can then lead to bad user experiences. Manjaro is great for beginners. Getting software is easy, using the system is easy and the OS does take care of the users. But Manjaro also lets you do advanced things and take some responsibility for it. You can go ahead and install an optimized kernel like the Zen kernel from AUR directly from the software store here. Great power lies in Manjaro and at the same time, you have the responsibility to take care of everything. This is a great combination for intermediate Linux users, people who want to tinker around. I feel that Manjaro is really made for intermediate Linux users. It's pretty amazing. It stands with the giants. And the latest version that is Manjaro 23 is a fantastic update that brings the latest of everything to its users. Definitely give this one a try. The download link for all editions of Manjaro is given in the description below. Alright, if you enjoyed our deep dive with Manjaro in the second episode of Distro Focus, our new series featuring the best and some underrated Linux distros, definitely consider subscribing to the channel for more and also leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Alright, if you had fun with Manjaro in this video, you'll absolutely love this fantastic distro called NixOS. It's pretty amazing, so don't miss that. Also, check out the entire distro focus playlist. This is Linux Techs, signing out.